Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the basement on this rather chilly and gray Sunday spring afternoon, but we are here for Lucifer. It is the season two premiere. Where did we laugh? Well, so, okay, so where did we leave off? Malcolm is gone, but I don't know if that means the whole Palmetto thing is over, but Lucifer died. Set up a prayer to Pops. Pops, I'm guessing in his way said, go back to earth. You have business to do because mom is now out. Yay. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I think that's a big thing. That's the big thing is who is mom and what does she want? Goal, motivation, conflict. Don't know what the conflict is yet because we don't know why she was imprisoned in hell to start with. And is mom mom because she birthed the angels? Or is she just mother figure? Came from her head like Athena. I thought of you, now you're born. We'll have to watch to find out. So I'm so glad that you are with me as well. So we're getting under the blankets. I have a glass because I said I'm not going anywhere tonight. My menage a trois red blend, which I enjoy deeply. I have all of you and you're gonna remember full episode watch along is available on Patreon where I would love to see you. And let's get to it. Why don't I affect you, detective? I guess we both have our mysteries. I think that is the big mystery is why doesn't, what is special about Chloe? We haven't even touched that yet. What makes her different than anybody else? Because you're telling me nobody else loser has come across has has her similar qualities, moral code, compassion. Nobody else. Yeah, they looked up to no good. Dude. Oh, oh, oh. Got questions. Is this really how you want to spend your time on Earth? I will kill you. <laughs> But that's not what you really desire, is it? No, it isn't. All right, rather quickly. Freedom? Oh. You were tired of being a prisoner, weren't you? Yeah. You wanted to break your shackles, be reborn. I did. So you escaped hell looking for an empty body and found this poor sod who just died of a heart attack and now here you are wreaking havoc on her. The jig is up. We found you, Mum. Wait, what? realize I needed to be free. Yes, from hell. No, man, from debt. I owe a ton of money. You know what? I'm sick of this. It's who are you and <laughs> She must have entered a human form of someone who's recently died. Which means anyone who kicked the bucket while she was sleeping on the job. Lucy, do you realize he's the last one on our list? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> She's here. Kept a prisoner for thousands of years. She's coming for me, I know it. Are you coming? So much punishment, so little time. Dead! <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> You've never mentioned your mother before. Why is that? Because she was imprisoned in hell for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. Once upon a time, a boy met a girl. And they fell in love. Time. They had sex. The only trouble was they were celestial beings, so that moment created the universe. Mm, the Big Bang? Never knew how appropriate the name was until now, did you? And they built a house. They called it heaven. They were happy. Mum was rather lovely in the beginning. Dad started going into the garage and tinkering with a little project he called humanity. Mum grew cold, distant. And then one of his children started to act out? Indeed. So dad got pissed off and tossed me out of the house. And what did your mother do? Nothing. She just stood there and let it happen. Anyway, a couple of thousand years later, dad kicked her out too. That's what I was wondering. Put her in a cell. So I did the same for her as she did for me. <laughs> oh. oh! 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 Good to be back on the studio set, detective. Not really. Bringing back memories of your acting days. Is everything all right, Detective? You seem distracted. 
Those are some very nice automobiles. Two days ago, you were shot point blank. There was blood all over you. You should be dead. Well, part for the course for our adventures, detective. What's new? <laughs> and I'm going to find out exactly what you are once and for all. Oh, yeah. The devil himself. No, I'm guessing Larry Morningstar, the son of a plumber in Connecticut. Larry Morningstar? Larry. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh no. So our victim's name is Jillian Taylor. She was a stand-in for the lead actress on Leave it to Leslie. And now she's dead because of me. I don't remind you of anyone. She was killed somewhere else. This body was moved here. So the killer's sending a message. Ah, good. So you agree with me. What the hell? Oh, joy of joys. I thought Detective Douche was in jail. I so too. Hey. What are you doing here? With a badge. I've been reinstated. That was fast. After Malcolm and everything that happened at Palmetto, they wanted to sweep everything under the rug. And the only thing I confessed to was improperly checking out evidence. Would you rather I go to jail? Think Trixie would prefer that? No, it's just... She wants justice! Maybe disguised a bit as vengeance, but she wants justice. I've been reassigned to assist on cases, so... Assist. For now, how can I help? Stay out of her way. You're a newbie, aren't you? Oh, hey, yeah. Oh, when she's a hugger. <laughs> you must be Detective Decker's civilian consultant. Lucifer. <laughs> Take it we have a new full-time character. I was expecting a different reaction considering your choice of bling. And besides, I think the devil gets a bad rap. Oh. What do you really do that was so bad? What, rebel against his dad, ask some naked lady if she wanted an apple? You still my heart, do go on. I suppose he does run hell. That's not so great. I didn't create hell, I just worked there. Wait, are you... The devil. ...a method actor? What? Ugh, not exactly an Emmy-worthy performance from our child actor. And a dick-nozzle boyfriend. Weird for a girl who normally doesn't wear mascara, she's certainly wearing a lot. I wonder why. Is that mom? Is Ella mom? It's just a guess. Jillian rented from me for four years. God, I shudder to think what the rent on that place is now. You know, she got so close on so many auditions. I Unless she's just renting a room. <laughs> it's probably more likely. <laughs> you think Amy did this? Oh, sweet, darling, innocent Amy. Oh, I'm sensing sarcasm. She has so much cocaine up her nose it would snow if you shook her. Oh, yes, I've tried that. They even hit her OD a couple of days ago. Days? You're saying Amy died, then came back to life, and then an innocent girl was found dead with devil horns shoved into her skull. Wow. Well, that's how she's able to afford some rent. Well, maybe she needed the cash to fund her flamingo army, because I know who the killer is. Really, who? It's a long story, but I think my mum's soul is currently inside Amy. You're making less sense than you normally do. That's because you still don't believe me. Just. Test my blood, detective. Then we can have a real conversation. I'm interested in this blood test to see what exactly it says. What would it say? But don't worry. Maisel always turns up eventually. She's like a bad penny. Thinks she helped Mom escape, do you? Well, that doesn't sound like the kind of evil, duplicitous thing a demon would do now, does it? Hmm, why would she? I think the detective's gonna finally believe me about who I am soon, so cheers. Everything's coming up, Lucifer. What did you do? She's going to test my blood. She's what? Ooh. Exciting, isn't it? Humans can't have proof of divinity. Just the detective. I don't see the harm. Sure. I mean, what could possibly go wrong if Angel Blood enters the police department's forensic database? Oh, sorry. Am I supposed to answer that? <laughs> you just deal with mom. I'll deal with this mess. Oh, no. Don't let a minute adult deal because he's going to do something. Ah. Oh. His track record of fixing situations isn't so great at this point in time. Amy had a secret drug problem. When Jillian found out about it, it was blackmailing her. If so, that's a pretty strong one. It is, yeah. Thanks, Dan. Oh, so is this the season that they actually started filming in LA instead of Vancouver? Oh! <gasps> well, Amy has learned nothing. Well, now I know where I got my taste for the good life. What are you doing in here? A wolf in a sheep's tiny skirt. It's very appropriate. 
Mum? Who are you and what are you doing in here? I know who you really are. All right. If attacking me would be a waste of... What are you doing? You, you can't do this. I'm tired of everyone thinking I'm so innocent. But I'm not, and I'll prove it. Please. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Stop oh. doing the buttons and just, just please. Miss Dodd? Oh, 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 oh. Right, for once, this is not what it looks like. Oh. So she was blackmailing. She wasn't blackmailing me. She was my sober companion. Well, clearly not very good at it. Yeah. What was the fight about? I was getting tired of her treating me like a child. I'm an adult. I can make my own decisions. I'd gotten a new supply and she was trying to take it away from me. Oh. You're going to show it to the police officer, okay. Devil emoji. That's it, I'm speaking to a copyright lawyer today. <laughs> you don't have to believe anything I say, detective. Test my blood. Oh, dear me, why are you hesitating? You're scared to find out the truth? I'm not scared about anything other than finding out what STDs you have. Very funny. I do enjoy his car. <laughs> and he's looking extra fine this episode. I don't know if it's like the sideburns or whatever. But it's delightful as well. Hey, how did, what the hell are you doing in here? I'm sorry, I, uh... Try it again. I must have gotten lost. Yeah, because this police station is completely different than last season. You don't think you deserve any of the blame for what happened with your mother? No. None of this would have happened if Amenadiel had been watching over hell like he was supposed to. I thought that was your job. Well, it was. But when I abdicated, it became his. And then there's Maze. Oh, well, she's still missing. So I'm, I'm worried she might be involved in all this. And I wouldn't be in this mess if it wasn't for the detective, and she doesn't even know it. Sounds like there's a lot of blame to go around. Yes. Is there anyone you might be leaving out? Anyone I'm leaving out? Um... Oh, you're right. Yes, if you'd fixed my existential problem earlier, none of this would have happened. <laughs> Hello, Chloe. What's going on? I really was hoping I wouldn't have to do this. But... Oh, geez, what is your plan now? You need to know the truth, Chloe. About Lucifer. A many deal. A many deal. No! Okay. So, how did he get bloody? Bulletproof vests and blood packs. Well, this, by the way, is what Lucifer wore when you guys confronted Malcolm. How would you know that? Because I put it on That's him. That's how he's spinning this. Hmm. Then what about the weird mojo thing he does? Neurolinguistic programming? Just give it a big fancy name. Listen, what you have to understand is that my brother and I had a very difficult childhood. And to deal with it, he created this persona for himself. A very successful persona, at least financially. Trying to find a buyer and AA meeting people at their most vulnerable, it's really low. Because, and I can't believe I'm saying this, the killer isn't your mother. Unfortunately, I think you're right. Dear me, this has all been a wild goose chase. You're still on a case. <laughs> uh, does anybody else want to speak? Yes, I'd like to say something. <laughs> If you killed this woman, please stand up now. Let's get it over with. My name is Lucifer Morningstar, and I love drugs. Love them. Mm. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. Can't get enough. I've got lots of money mm, that I love spending on drugs. The theme of the day is your lowest point. Right, my lowest point. Well, geographically, that would be hell, of course. Hard to get much lower than that. Well, then I suppose it was when my mother abandoned me. 
I mean, what could she possibly say that would justify what she did? What would she say? Hey, guys. Looking to score? Because I've got some really good stuff if you've got cash. I got something to show you. I actually found this on the ground. This isn't even mine. I just... She had a dealer before me, you know. I, I doubt I doubt he was happy I stole his best buyer. Who was he? This case is a lot more convoluted than previous cases. Wow. Just up with a knife. Special knife, or just a knife. So where the hell have you been, Maze? Away. Waka waka. So who is he? Amy Dodd's mm. dick nozzle boyfriend. Oh. Well, he must have seen me going into Amy's trailer when I thought she was mum. Wait, your mom escaped hell? Yes. Funny timing, isn't it? She slipped out whilst Amenadil was injured and you were... Uh... Well, where were you, Mace? Fixing a Menadel. You sure he doesn't know anything? What is wrong with you people? What's wrong with you? Um, why are you there, Pumpkin? <laughs> you, well, you guys are with the cops, though, right? <laughs> more of a day job thingy. Got much more pressing issues at the moment. If you weren't helping my mum, then where were you? I was with a friend. Someone who's been helping me do some... So, sir. Linda? Was she with Linda? Now that we are stuck here, I need to figure out where I fit in. And she's been helping me do that. So does that mean Dr. Linda knew where Maze was this whole time? Go on. She used to score big from some other guy before she got clean. Oh. I, I, I swear I've never met him. Look, he goes by the name of, of Bobby B. That narrows it down a thousand. I thought you said this case doesn't have anything to do with your mom anymore. It doesn't. Then why are you running off to tell Chloe? Well, maybe there are things you wouldn't understand about me either. Hi, sir. <laughs> sure you guys are gonna let me go now, right? No, sir. <laughs> After I've had my fun. Cause you came up on Lucifer with a knife. With terrible intentions. Oh, there is uh, one thing that might help. Yeah, what's that? Bobby B. Oh. She was like a mother to her. Oh. <gasps> oh. There are some issues that I need to work out, and I think I know just how to do it. <laughs> wow, Maze. Wow. Hey, can I ask you a question? Shoot. Do you really believe in God? I was expecting more like, hey, Ella, what's it like moving from Detroit to LA? Hey, Ella, how'd you survive growing up with four brothers? But big G question right off the top, did not see that coming. So how did Chloe know she would have moved from Detroit or had four brothers? <laughs> right, I mean, if you don't question something, then what's the point of believing it? Mm -hmm. I doubt so that I can believe. Roses. What? what do roses have to do with faith? No, rose fertilizer, which also has nitrogen. So the rods were taken from a garden. Exactly. Garden tools, lawn accessories. Flamingos. So rose fertilizer is different than other fertilizer? Mr. Morningstar. Hello, murderer. <laughs> he just walks right in. Okay. You sold drugs from the hospital and sold them to Amy Dodd, your biggest client, till you met on set. You introduced Gillian to Amy, got her the job. But then she helped Amy get sober. You felt betrayed. Yada, 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 you killed her. Then you tried to frame a new dealer. Am I getting close? What's ludicrous is that you were like a mother to her and you sacrificed this her like she was nothing. <laughs> 
Oh, 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 there we go. I love a game of poker. Go on, I'll give you a freebie just to make it interesting. Because Chloe's across the way. I think it'd be faster if you just went bleh, bleh. Mrs. Belliard, it's Detective Decker. Bloody hell, of course she's here. Detective! So Lucifer, you don't have any other words. Your super strength, at least. At least. What, you're gonna bet for your life? <laughs> don't sell anyone. I died like this. <laughs> Nearly had her. <laughs> Lucifer, you have shown fighting skills. We've seen it. We saw the beginning of the episode. Did the writers forget he at least had some sort of manus, manus, maneuvers? I'm so outraged. My voice is getting squeaky. You know, you weren't there when Ella's forensic report pointed us at Roberta. So how'd you put this together? Well, I was on the devil's business, detective. Look, even if I told you, just say I was being crazy. That's what your brother was just saying about you. I don't accept that you're crazy, and I don't accept this devil's business either. All right, so what do you believe? That I need the eggs. Guy walks into a psychiatrist's office, goes, Doc, you got to help me. My brother's crazy. He thinks he's a chicken. <laughs> the doc goes, well, why don't you turn him in? The guy goes, well, you know, I would, but I need the eggs. I don't know what your deal is. But you make me a better detective. And you need the eggs. Damn right I do. Got it. Lucifer, we don't have an appointment. No. Does Dr. Linda not have a secretary, a receptionist, or somebody to vet who just walks into her office? That was also a very official looking swab she got at some point during the mail. Kindly spoke. There are many here. So something's making a monodel weak also. And he wasn't, it wasn't me. The owl was getting late. The lighting of this police prank seek cracks me up. <laughs> I like to work in the dark, but I would not be able to see squat. <laughs> Didn't realize I had an audience. Is there anything I can do for you? <laughs> Mom. Okay, so we're laying the tiles for this next season. Got out why Lucifer was upset with his mother. Why she may have issues with him. So that big thing with the elevator, the only part that makes me go, what? Is not that this that it was his mother that came through all bloody and whatnot. It's the fact that anybody can enter his elevator and enter his home. That's the part that's creeping me out the most. Because I figured when the elevator opened, he, he had a sense that it was somebody who was allowed, not just a random stranger. Women covered in blood with some sort of weapon. And eh, how did she get up there? And at the very, very, very beginning, when we're seeing the jewel theft, whatnot, and then all of a sudden, Monadel and Lucifer there, like some wackadoo police team duo. I'm like, wait, why are they together? Why are they fighting crime? <laughs> How did they get there so quickly? And then, oh, they think their mother is inhabited and this man. Okay, okay. But for half a second, I'm like, what? Did this, the object of the story turn? The whole plot? We now have a dynamic duo? And for half a second, I was really excited by it. <laughs> but we got some questions. Where did Lucifer's other powers go? <laughs> also, so why is Amenadol 
losing his powers. Because we know Lucifer's are somewhat tied to Chloe's. Money that was by himself in both of those situations. So what existential crisis is his, he going through? And will Linda take him on as a client? Can one therapist see an entire family? I'm just wondering. And the fact that Linda knew where Maze was this whole time. <laughs> so I know some of y'all let it slip that in this season, at least more non-celestials will learn that Lucifer is Lucifer. I can't wait for that to happen because I'm finding that, that those little moments in the plot kind of like those little moments in the plot I'm like oh just believe him already but then I'll, I'm at the same time thinking but where's the tension <laughs> where do we go from there once they find out it's like cool okay then what do they do with that information could be an interesting trajectory or it could kill everything that we've been building for and the dynamic changes hmm maybe it's one of those be careful what you wish for moments. I guess the only way we'll find out is if we keep watching the show, which is why they left us with that cliffhanger that made you go, I need to watch the next episode now. <laughs> but I can't, it's too busy. Mm -hmm. There we go, season two premiere. Ta-da! Thank you so much for being with me on this adventure. You all make this so much fun. So please do not be strangers if you haven't already. Hit subscribe so you know when the next one drops. And as always, in the meantime, take care of yourselves. If you haven't, breathe. Take a couple deep breaths. Stand up. Maybe walk around the room. Get some toast. And then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all. And until next time.